Hey guys, it's Dr. Wiggy. I just wanted to talk to you today about hypoglycemia and one of the causes that people don't really think about that causes this. Now hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, this is actually a pretty common problem and people come in complaining about these types of symptoms frequently. These symptoms include dizziness, lightheadedness, weakness, or shaking. And oftentimes when we check a blood sugar level or a CBG, their blood sugar level is usually low. And a lot of times people, you know, say that, oh, or a lot of times doctors say, oh, there's nothing to worry about. You just have a little bit of low blood sugar or hypoglycemia. Um, but this can be an indication of something else going on in the body that needs to be addressed. Now, one of the things that I commonly see with hypoglycemia, it actually is caused by a yeast overgrowth, a yeast overgrowth in the, uh, in the stomach and in the intestines. And the way this works is that if you have too much yeast in the digestive tract, the yeast actually absorbs the sugar and the carbohydrates before our body is able to process and um, get it into the bloodstream. So we, see, we do not see all the nutrition and all of the uh, calories that we take in. And a lot of times this results in us having those symptoms that can result in kind of all those things that I was talking about. And a lot of times if we treat the yeast overgrowth, the hypoglycemia takes care of itself. Now, this is something that can be checked, and we often see this when we check for food allergies, that we can see that there is a yeast overgrowth. You can also do this by doing some stool analysis. Now, this is something that should be monitored with, uh, by your physician because there is some uh, pretty, pretty good antifungal medicines that are available, um, but like I said, there are some side effects from that, and they need to be monitored closely. So, like I said, hypoglycemia, this is a pretty common problem, um, but it does seem to be caused frequently by a yeast overgrowth and the good news is that this can be treated. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have any comments, please send them below. Otherwise, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, be well.